produce results without having to spend money and decrease overhead, which will allow startup companies with limited capital to forge ahead with B2B cold calling. Purchase lists, while beneficial, do not provide the cold calling salesperson prospecting and identifying skills to develop client lists themselves and may become reliant on provided telephone lists as a crutch. A great resource for guidance identifying businesses to engage are the Standard Industrial Classification or SIC codes. The SIC is a system for classifying establishments according to their primary activity. It's used to facilitate the collection, tabulation, presentation and analysis of production and related data. As a reference manual, the SIC provides a classification structure, a classified index which includes industry definitions and examples to clarify the content of each industry. By identifying your target customer using the standard industrial classifications, defining your database will start to take shape. Let's get started building your sales pipeline, and to do that, let's look at the different classifications that can be located in the SIC manual at the following website. Let's take a look at what you'll find in the manual for SIC Major Group 46. Speaking of pipelines, SIC Major Group 46, Pipelines Except Natural Gas. This major group includes establishments primarily engaged in the pipeline transportation of petroleum and other commodities except natural gas. Pipelines operated by petroleum producing or refining companies and separately reported are included. Establishments primarily engaged in natural gas transmission are classified in industry 4922. After a quick internet search for classification 4612 crude petroleum pipelines, we locate directory after directory of businesses to contact. Definitely pipelines for your pipeline. After identifying a prospect, visit the company's website. Please study the company to determine how your product, service, or solution will benefit the company. After we have prospected and identified target companies, let's do a target prospect company website analysis for researching valuable information. Here are the standard links of products, services, locations, management, and contact. First, let's investigate products and services. First, what is the history, growth, and development of the company's products and services? Identify the company's strengths and weaknesses to leverage your solution. Define the nature of the company's business level strategy. Is it a publicly traded or private company? If public, what is its market capitalization and the number of employees? Is there a history of mergers and acquisitions? Next on the research, we will identify locations. Where are the national locations? Is this a global company with locations in Europe or Asia Pacific? Next, we will personify the company by identifying the CEO, President, CFO, or any potential contacts in purchasing or accounting. You might want to research for any RFPs or requests for proposals and the company's fiscal or budget year.
Next, for contacts, look for telephone numbers. No email yet. Email addresses with any credibility need to be earned. Spam will be filtered and discarded. Websites are the cover to a company and periodically updated. Please log the website address in your database. How can you save the company time and or money or increase sales? Please log the data in your CRM database for easy accessibility when contacting your prospect. Also determine a percentage for closing. The pertinent information for your CRM database should include SIC code, industry, company name, website, products, solutions, management, and contact phone numbers. This may be elementary, but to hit your target of 1,000 prospects, this process must be effortless to expedite the process. How long should one sales professional take to locate 1,000 viable contacts, not just random phone numbers? 50 a day over 20 workdays would be a sensible target. With 1,000 B2B contacts in your CRM database, we can now look at a basic script. Before we even put cursor to word processor, why should they care about your call and assume your cold call is the fifth the receptionist has received that morning? And what will make your call stand out? When I was cold calling, if I made 50 calls per day, the end results may look like this. Out of 50 cold calls, approximately 10 to 20 would be non-contacts or not interested. 20 to 30 would be voicemails or the receptionist would take a message. 10 would be actual target contacts. Don't forget, receptionists are paid to run interference for their managers. Here's how I would categorize the responses. Of the not interested, 90% of the time, the negative reaction had nothing to do with the call or my product or service. But because the fiscal budget for the prospect was several months away. In large corporations, and particularly governments, purchasing is done at specified fiscal periods. To me, this was an opportunity to query the purchasing agent regarding purchasing procedures to log into my CRM database. The PA would direct me to a website or offered a procedure for my company to apply for a supplier status. PAs are aware that receiving telephone calls from potential suppliers is normal and often provides a sound methodology of discovering new suppliers, offering better solutions which are beneficial to their supply chain management. Improving your target prospects infrastructure is the goal of your product or solution. External business stresses cause variances in your prospects daily workflow. Management solutions balance the variances. Integrating your solution with the management solutions is the sweet spot to deploy your product or service. The greater the benefit you can provide, the greater value your product or solution will be. How many times have you purchased something and said to yourself, that was the best money I ever spent? It may have been a $5,000 vacation or a $2 cup of coffee, but the value of your purchase was greater than the cash you provided for the purchase. That's the final thought I want to leave you before we move into part two, contact. One of my main rules is do not phone your prospect unless you have something new to say. Don't phone just to renew your company's name, product, or phone number. In our contact section, we'll prepare several cold calling scripts for different contacts. I spent over 25 years in radio and five years in television broadcasting. My philosophy was never open the microphone unless you know exactly what you're going to say. And more importantly, don't say anything if you have nothing to say. Whenever I didn't follow this rule, chaos erupted with stumbling, broken sentences, poor grammar. With a script, you avoid the pitfalls of the patronizing, how are you? Or, if you give me 30 seconds of your time, I have a product that could change your life. At that point, you are telespam and telemarketing. The receptionist will forward you to a voicemail warehouse where your message will be auto 